Hello, sweet soul. <laughs> it's time for a new week. It's another beautiful Tuesday. And this week's topic is flip it. Flip it. Flip it. What do I flip? I flip myself upside down. Yes, that's part of it. So flipping it is about changing perspective. And sometimes it is very useful to do that in the most literal sense, to go into a headstand or into a handstand. Freestanding against the wall doesn't matter. Yes, I still practice mine. I don't have a solid handstand that I can hold for a minute. You know, I go upside down, I topple back down, I do it again. And every time I do invest a few minutes in it, I know I get this much better at it. And it's okay, because eventually I will have a solid handstand. <sighs> this video is less about acrobatics on the outside, though. It's more about doing the gymnastics on the inside so it's very easy to get caught up in the gloom of november it is very easy to get caught up in the gloom of the world whenever it happens and is that where we want to stay mm. i can tell you it's not my favorite place to live so every once in a while i gotta remind myself to flip it so when I notice that the voice in my head is really gnarly, then there are several ways of doing that. Physical movement, going upside down in the most physical sense definitely helps and physical movement of any sorts. So no matter what your physical shape is right now, if you go on a walk, if you roll around, if you dance, it doesn't matter as long as we get these beautiful bodies moving because that's what they're made for. So after this video, I'm gonna jump on my bicycle and move it. <laughs> then there is the mental part of it. How can we turn something upside down by putting it in a different perspective inside of us? So on that one, I think about the situation that I'm not liking. What does it enable me to do? What does it make space for? What does it give me room to do? Let's say something didn't come through. A plan I was looking forward to is not coming through. Now I have space for something else. I can either waste my energy on being grumpy about what didn't come through, or I can acknowledge that that leads to some grumpiness inside of me and then move on to making the best use of what I have now. Oh, all of a sudden I have time to do this other thing. Beautiful. Who knows? Maybe what unfolds from there is going to turn out even better. So that's a practice I'm cultivating for when things are not turning out as planned. Who am I to know whether that would have been the best thing that could happen anyways. Maybe the universe has way better things in store for me and my imagination is too limited. Hmm. And sometimes when things don't come through, they give us a breather, a breather for the real thing to come through. They help us see things that we didn't see before. They help us connect dots, especially if we allow ourselves to take a pause, to go inside and to reflect and write down a bit. So the new perspectives, that is a thing that if I allow myself in the moment of fudge, I really don't know where to go from here. If I sit down there and still my mind, instead of letting it race around, still my mind, get myself into a meditative state slow down my breathing, tune into what I'm feeling in my body as opposed to the thoughts that are zooming around my head, tuning into the feeling of my body and where it opens. And then I will find new days, new ways of connecting. I will find new days, yes, that also, to let unfold what can unfold here. There is a certain magic that happens when we freaking let go, when we surrender to what is, when we allow 
our mind to go explore territories that we haven't before. When instead of blocking and saying, and eh, no, that, that's not the thing, that's not working. Well, maybe it is. Who knows? Can we be curious enough to let ourselves be taken places that we haven't been before? Can we look at our life like a giant map and wonder what are the continents that I haven't explored yet? And sometimes finding new perspectives means high quality input, a book that you've been wanting to read for a long time by a forward thinker. I'm right now reading Alan Lightman's Einstein's Dreams. It's a short book and it certainly does its share to flipping perspectives. It's fascinating. It's about time, a lot of it. With that, I wish you a beautiful, beautiful week. Find some inspiration. Flip your perspective on something that annoys you. Flip your perspective on something where you feel a bit stuck. Allow that space to open up, go upside down. Move yourself in ways that give you delight. Go dance with life. I love you.